So in this video, we're going to be showing you how you could download the chemical library data directly from the Chembo database. And so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the Chembo database. And in the search bar at the top here, you want to type in estrogen receptor alpha. Wait a moment. And then you want to scroll down and find target. Click on that. And make sure that the target tab is selected here. And you can see here that there are a total of 14 targets. Scroll down, and then you're going to be seeing the left-hand panel and the right-hand panel. The left-hand panel will be showing you the various characteristics of the data sets provided here. You're going to be seeing the organism from which it is from, the protein classification. You're going to be seeing the types of the protein, whether it is a single protein, a protein family, a protein complex, or a protein-protein interaction. And then you're going to be seeing the various range of the data set, whether it has a few compounds to a larger library of compounds. And here, we're going to be seeing the Chembo ID in the first column and the name of the protein in the third column here, followed by the Uniprot accession ID and the type whether it is a single protein or protein family, the organism from which it is taken from, the number of compounds, and also the number of bioactivity data points. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the bioactivity data. And so make sure that you want to click on the link here provided in the activities column. So you want to click on here and wait until the results have been loaded. And now you want to click on the Select All button in order to select all of the bioactivity points. And then you want to click on the CSV button. And then wait a moment, and then you will see this link appearing. Then you want to click on here to download the bioactivity data. And it has already been loaded into the computer. And let's unzip the file. Let's have a look at the file inside a Microsoft Excel. But please note that it is a CSV file. But for this particular file, it is in the semicolon. So instead of having a comma as the separator, this file has a semicolon. So what you want to do in order to read this properly is head to the Data tab. Then you want to click on the text to columns, but make sure that you highlight the first column. And then you want to click on text to columns. And in this pop up, make sure that you select the delimited option, click on next, and make sure you select on the semicolon. Click on next, but actually make sure to untick the tab. Otherwise, it will be creating excessive number of columns for you. So make sure you select only the semicolon, click on Next, and then Finish. And then click on OK. And then you're going to be getting this properly formatted spreadsheet with the bioactivity data. So of particular note here, the first column will be the molecule Chembo ID. And then you're going to have the compound name in the compound here, compound key, or also in the molecule name column. And the SMILES notation will be provided in this column. And the SMILES notation will be the notation providing the chemical information pertaining to the chemical structure. And then you're going to be seeing the bioactivity points provided by the column called standard type, which will be the name of the bioactivity and standard value will be the bioactivity data value. And the standard unit will be the unit of this particular bioactivity. And so feel free to save this as another Excel file for your future reference. And so that's it for this video.